back to our channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Emily. In today's video, it's just going to be a daily vlog, a random vlog. I really have no idea what is gonna be included in this vlog. I do know that I'm gonna be showing you guys some spring outfits that I picked up from Zara because I'm obsessed, but I don't really wanna make it a whole dedicated video. Even though I know you guys like hauls, so I figured I would just throw it into this vlog. So, this morning, I'm gonna be trying, oh my god, this morning, it's already 11 o'clock. I spent the whole morning editing our Princess Polly video, which I don't know which one will be at first. That one will probably be at first, hopefully, if it gets approved in time. Sometimes, um, Waiting for the brand to approve the video can take a few days, so this one might be at first. But anyways, um, I was spending the morning doing that and daylight savings kind of threw me off a little bit, but it is now 11 o'clock, so, and it's funny because I usually start the vlogs at 10, so I'm exactly on my normal schedule, but the time change is just throwing me off. Now I feel like I really don't have much time in the day, but um, anyways, I'm gonna make a coffee right now, but I wanted to share with you guys a healthy coffee recipe. I really hope this is good. This is my first time trying it. So it's actually going to be inspired by my new favorite Starbucks drink, the brown sugar shaken espresso drink. Mm, so good with oat milk, seriously addicted. It has no business being that good. It's really annoying, but I did pick up some flavored stevia that is, um, maple and brown sugar flavored so i really hope that if i froth this with some oat milk and just put it in coffee with like a little bit of sweet cream it might taste it won't taste as good we all know this it's not gonna be as good there's just no way but hopefully it's good enough to you know steer me away from going to starbucks every day to get that drink and just make it at home and it's a lot healthier so let's try it out shall we Okay, this is going to be the pod that I'm using. It's just kind of a regular medium roast coffee. And oops, usually that flips up, but okay. And then we're going to go ahead and just brew that on up. This little machine is honestly life-changing. And if you don't have one, I highly, highly recommend. Oops, sorry. But um, it'll be in my Amazon store. Okay, so this is going to be the stevia that I'm using. I got it from Amazon. I will link it below if it's good. I really hope it's good. So I'm just going to fill this up to in between those two lines with oat milk and then some of this, just like a few drops. I actually do have these ones and I really do like these ones as well. I'll link these below. This is definitely a good um, vanilla flavor, but it is really strong. It's just a way to help sweeten your coffee without adding too much sugar because as you know your girl's trying to lose a few pounds before summer so i'm trying to watch my calories and my sugar intake okay i lied i just put the oat milk to the first line and i'm just using this oat milk from trader joe's i might even use um, a little bit of this just to kind of give it a little bit more of a smooth creamy texture because i don't know the oat milk sometimes just doesn't thicken it up as much as i'd like Definitely smells chemically. That makes me a little bit worried. Let's see, just do like one, two, mm, however many that was, I don't even know. But we can always add more if we need more. I just don't wanna overdo it. So there she goes. So I did end up adding about a tablespoon of the sweet cream creamer in there as well, just to kind of give it a little bit more sweetness. Hopefully it's sweet enough. I think it needs more of the stevia. But now I'm scared because I don't really taste the stevia at all. I don't want to do too much. Okay, let's see if that's enough. Oh, I forgot cinnamon powder. Should definitely be putting some cinnamon on there. That's also very important. Let's try that, maybe that will help. I should have blended the cinnamon in with the milk. Oops. Okay, let's see. Hmm, I think it still needs more. <laughs> How many, a serving size is five drops. Okay, well, I probably put about 10 in there by now. Let's see. It's pretty good. I'll definitely drink that, but nowhere near the Starbucks version, and I, I knew that, so. I'm not super disappointed. I didn't set myself up for that kind of disappointment, but it wasn't a complete hit, but it wasn't a fail. 
I will definitely still make another one of these and I think it's good. I'm definitely gonna drink the whole thing. Um, and it's obviously way cheaper and healthier than going to Starbucks and getting their version. So, yeah. This is a good little hack in case, you know, you're watching your sugar, you're on keto, you're just watching your weight, whatever. So, yeah, anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and make breakfast now because I am absolutely starving. It is now 11.06, so let's make some breakfast. I'm just gonna have some avocado toast. I know, so original. I will show you guys what that looks like when I'm all done, as if you haven't seen my avocado toast a million times. But actually, I do have something cool. I'm actually pretty excited to make avocado toast this morning because I got these little, I have no idea what they're called, um, little things from Amazon. I think I saw Whitney Simmons use them in a TikTok, and I was like, okay, I think I need those. So they just make your egg perfectly round for on top of your avocado toast. How genius is that? But I'm also really excited because I feel like when I put my egg whites in there, it'll stay in there and it's not gonna spread all over the pan and you know get all messy. We're about to upgrade our toast, y'all. Um, <laughs> but I'm using the gluten-free whole grain bread from Trader Joe's. I'm not gluten-free, I just actually prefer to eat gluten-free when I can. Okay, I think I did something wrong <laughs> because the egg white just spilled everywhere. That did absolutely nothing and it's like smoking like crazy. Is that normal? Is that supposed to be happening? I don't even know. This could be an epic fail. I'm just gonna take this one off because that clearly did not work or go as planned. Does anyone have any tips? Did I do it wrong? What's happening? <laughs> Why is it smoking? <laughs> All right, hopefully this is not setting the tone for the day because nothing I'm doing is working out the way that I had envisioned, but that's okay. It's still gonna be good, it's still gonna taste good. We're gonna figure it out. All right guys, <laughs> here's my breakfast. It does not look pretty, I'm really sad. I was really excited about those um, little egg things, whatever the heck they're called, but that's okay, whatever. Just don't buy them, it's a waste of time in my opinion, unless I did something wrong. Tell me if I did something wrong and I can fix it. But anyways, I'm just gonna have my egg whites on the side since it didn't, you know, end up in a nice little circle to place on top of my toast like I thought it would. So I have some pineapple, toast. Oh, I accidentally put a lot of seasoning on that avocado toast, whoops. But this egg, not a perfect circle, but still good, let's see. It's not runny. Oh, it is a little bit. Not your best work, Emily, not your best work. It's definitely a Monday. But anyways, I'm just gonna eat this, watch some YouTube, and get myself in the right headspace to hit the gym here in a little bit. I think I'm gonna go at 12.30, so I'm gonna go in an hour. So I have an hour just to kind of chill, let this food digest. I'll probably have some pre-workout in around 30 minutes just to make sure that I have enough energy to get through my workout today because I want to kick butt today in the gym. I am ready. This is probably gonna be what I end up wearing to the gym. I'm just wearing a crop top from Amazon as well as this sports bra is also from Amazon, the one that Abby and I talked about. I think it's the Levento one. Absolutely love it. This is seriously the softest, comfiest sports bra ever. I'm so in love with those. And then I just am wearing these um, camo joggers. They're the Align joggers from Lululemon. So I just quickly wanted to share with you guys the two products I use in the morning when I do my skincare routine. I don't really have a strict routine, but I always use these two products in the morning no matter what. Um, I'm not one of those people that wash their face in the morning because I feel like what's the point if you wash it the night before and did your skincare routine, your face should already be clean. But that's just my opinion, do you? But these are the two products I use. So first I use this, and this has vitamin C and niacinamide in it, which is really great for brightening and evening out skin texture and tones. So this has been a lifesaver for me because it's so hydrating. I have dry skin, so love that stuff. And then it's very important to use a sunscreen, especially if you're using a vitamin C product because your skin becomes more sensitive to the sun and daylight. So. I am obsessed with this. I look forward to putting this on my face every day. I don't know why, but the texture, the way it feels on my skin, the way it kind of absorbs into my skin is just unlike anything I've ever had. So <laughs> that's really dramatic, but this is a pretty big bottle. It's not super cheap, but it's not expensive. Um, 
and this is a really good brand both of these are really good definitely check out both of these products i'll have them linked below for you guys i just got them on amazon but you can obviously get them in many places but yeah i just figured i would share that with you guys real quick so it has now been a while since i've seen you guys i went to the gym had a good workout it wasn't the best but it wasn't bad mondays just are a struggle for me sometimes in the gym i just I don't know, the weekend always sets me back and it's really bad. I really need to start being more strict on the weekends, but I'm so good Monday through Friday and then the weekend comes around and I drink alcohol, I eat bad food and I just enjoy myself a little bit too much on the weekend. So I really need to reel that in because <laughs> summer is creeping up. There's three people sitting in their computer right now that can literally see me and I look like such a narcissist. I feel like all my neighbors judge the fuck out of me and they're like, who does this bitch think she is? Kim Kardashian? She's always filming herself. Like, get over yourself, girl. Anyways, I do just want to share with you guys some pieces I've picked up from Zara recently. I've been to Zara about five times in the past month, which is really embarrassing to say, but it's because you can't try things on still at the Zara that I go to or in my state. They're not allowing you to try on, but a lot of other stores are. It's really weird. So every time I go there, you guys know how Zara sizing is. It can be really tricky, so I always have to go back to return things. And then I get sucked right in, and I'm peeping what's new. And then I end up returning something and just exchanging it and spending more money. <laughs> but on the bright side, I do have a lot of cute pieces to share with you guys. And honestly, I usually am not a spring fashion person especially from zara i usually don't like their spring and summer clothes but this spring i was really impressed with some things that i found so i feel like i have some really cute outfits to show you guys i don't know if i'm going to be trying everything on because i did a little tiktok and i tried things on in the tiktok and a lot of you guys were asking to do a video about it or to show the codes so that's what i'm going to do because i don't know how to work zara's website at all but i'm going to share with you guys the tags so that way, if you guys do want to buy one of these things, you can search the code. Not sure how it works. I've never done that before, but I have two big bags here. Like, yikes. Yeah, I kind of popped off at Zara. Not intentionally either, but it happens. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing I'm going to share with you guys are just these white jeans. Um, in case you guys missed it in the last vlog, Abby tried them on and they're so stinking cute. They're a little tight on me. I need to lose a solid five pounds before they fit me. So I don't have any white jeans and I feel like I always see girls wearing them and they look so cute with just some heels and a nice cute crop top, corset top, something like that. So these were $49.90. They have rips in the knees and they're like a straight leg and um, the hem, I think that's what it's called, the hem is frayed. So I really like that. These are really, really nice quality and they're not stretchy at all. So that's probably why they don't fit me very well. But here is the tag. There we go. So if you're interested, take a screenshot. So this next pair of jeans, I'm obsessed with. These might be my favorite jeans that I got. They just have holes in the knee and they're also straight leg and they have that frayed hem at the bottom, which I absolutely love. These fit me a little bit better than the white ones for some reason, but these also are not stretchy, like at all. So if you're in between sizes, I would recommend to go up a size. I don't have the tag on these anymore because I actually have worn these already. No, but I think I saw somewhere where it said like if you show this tag right here, this tag might show the code. I hope so. I don't know. Also, forgot to mention, I'm wearing a top from Zara. This was only $8 and it's such a nice staple to have in your wardrobe, especially for spring. So here is the tag for that. And don't mind my nails. I really need to get them done. They're grown out. I'm going to get them done tomorrow. But... Anyways, besides the point, absolutely love this. It's such a nice color. It's like ribbed and just really, really cute. Next is another pair of jeans. I absolutely love these ones too. These have no rips or holes in them, which is actually really nice because I feel like a lot of jeans that I do have have rips and tears in them. And sometimes, you know, you want an outfit to look a little bit more classy or put together. And these kind of jeans are better for those kind of outfits. But these do still have the frayed hem on the bottom. And they're just a really nice light wash. These are a little bit longer than the other ones. So if you're tall, I feel like these would be really good 
I'm 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, I'm in between, I'm not sure exactly, but these are a little bit long on me, um, but I absolutely love them. I feel like with a pair of heels, it's like the perfect length. It kind of elongates your legs because they are longer, but here is the tag for those. So next, in my TikTok, these were definitely the most popular item that people were asking about. These shorts, they're so cute. I absolutely love them. They are a beautiful light wash and they're just everything. I'm so glad that the longer short is coming in trend because I hate when my butt cheeks are falling out of my shorts or I don't know, I just don't think it's cute or flattering. And these are high waisted. They just are really nice and sturdy. These don't have much stretch to them either. So these are a little bit tight on me as well. I could have definitely got a six in these. I did get a four. But I absolutely love them. You guys need them. Run, go get them. Don't wait. Do it. Where did I put the tag for these? I know I... Oh, I thought I kept it on purpose because I knew that people would be asking about them. Hmm. I suck. I really thought that I saved the tag on those, but I guess I didn't. I think it has the code somewhere. In there. I'm gonna feel so bad if I'm doing this wrong. Oh my god. I feel so bad. I'm, I just really do not understand Zara at all. <laughs> Why do they gotta do us like that? Like, come on. We all love your stuff. Stop making it difficult to find things. It's really annoying. Okay, so moving on to tops, you guys. Zara came through with the cute crop tops for the summer and spring. I am obsessed. So this is a nice white silk one and it has adjustable straps, which is really, really nice. Also, the back is stretchy. Um, I did get a size small because of the fact that it's stretchy and it fits perfectly. I won't have to wear a bra with this and I'll feel secure and I absolutely love this. I think it's so cute. And here is the tag for that one. I guess I don't have to tell you the size that I got because it's on the tag so you guys will see. But um, yeah, I also got another white top. You guys know me and my white tops. I just can't get enough. But this one's a little bit different because it's an asymmetrical crop top. And I think this one is so cute. It's just different. And I like that it comes a little bit longer than other crop tops because it'll sit right where your jeans kind of end. So it almost looks like you're wearing a bodysuit, but you're not. And that's a lot more comfortable. Bodysuits can be uncomfortable sometimes. So... That's what I really liked about this top. And here is the tag for that one. The next thing I got is actually a bodysuit. This is a really nice and cute, just plain ribbed tan sand bodysuit. This is perfect to wear with some high-waisted jeans or some high-waisted shorts, some heels, whatever, sandals. It's just really versatile. You can also throw a jacket over it, like a denim jacket or something, and it would be really cute, or even a leather jacket, and it would look really nice. This cut is really flattering. And I honestly could have sized down to an extra small small, but I did get a medium large and it does fit, but it's also really, really stretchy. So you can definitely size down. Um, I kind of wish that they made like three sizes. I don't know why it's just two. It should be like extra small, small, medium, medium, large. But that's just my opinion. Um, who am I? But here is the tag for that. This next top is also kind of along the same line, super basic, very boring, I know, but I absolutely love this one. I think it's so cute, it has a nice thick band at the bottom, it's a really pretty oatmeal color, and it has like some specks of a different color in there, it won't show up on the camera, you'd have to see it in person, but I really, really like this, it's nice and thick, it's pretty stretchy, I did get it in a small and it fits perfectly, so I love this, I feel like it will look really classy with just some high-waisted shorts or jeans, you know the vibes. But um, yeah, I think this is really cute. This is the tag for that one. It was really inexpensive. They also had it in black, which was really cute as well. I think Abby got this in black, but I really like that top. Okay, so just a couple more tops here. This is a black skinny strapped crop top. Very basic, but it came with this. Well, it didn't come with it. You had to buy them separately, which was kind of stupid. But this is a nice long sleeve, like... I want to say cardigan. I don't really know what to call it, but you just put it on with this top and it looks kind of like one top, but it's not. So it's actually really nice if you know you're going out to like happy hour, but you might continue the night somewhere and it might be really hot. So you can just like wear this top and then put this on when it starts to get a little bit more chilly. But um, I did get both of these in a medium. But yeah, so this was a little, a little bit unique. Not really, but 
kinda. For me, it's unique. So I really, really like it. I think it's cute and different. So here is the code for the top. And then I don't have the tag on this one for some reason. I guess I took it off. But here is that. I really hope that's focused. And then the last top, this is really cute. And I feel like a lot of you girls will love this top. It is just a black crop top, obviously. But it has these little hole cutouts in the side and a nice ruched detailing that is adjustable. So you can make this a longer top, a shorter top. You can make it, you know, sexy or modest, which is really nice. It's a nice versatile black top. And I just absolutely loved this. I thought it was so cute. And here is the tag for that. It's also really stretchy, so you can, you know, get your normal size or size down and it's fine. Yeah, it's pretty stretchy. So anyways, that is everything that I picked up from Zara recently. Okay, sorry if that was a little bit chaotic and unorganized i know i really did try and save the tags on most of them because i knew i was going to either haul them or put them in a tiktok and obviously some of the tags got lost so i really hope that those codes or whatever work so it is now 6 20 and i am going to be making some dinner and i figured i would just show you guys what i'm making i actually want to try something new tonight today is just all about trying new things so we're gonna be trying to cook salmon in the air fryer. I've been obsessed with the air fryer. It makes life so, so easy. If you guys don't have one, you should really invest in one. I think they're just around $100, which I know that's still expensive, but honestly, so worth every penny. So, we are gonna be making salmon. This is uh, mine and Abby's favorite salmon. This is the Trader Joe's barbecue cut fresh Atlantic salmon it actually expires today so I needed to make it um, and I'm gonna make it the way that Abby usually makes it with a little bit of pesto on top and some everything but the bagel seasoning it's kind of a lot of fat but I don't really care it's gonna taste delicious I'm also gonna be having some jasmine rice with that it's just gonna be like a salmon rice bowl and it's gonna be really good I hope at least I'm really not a good cook but this isn't even really cooking like you do not have to be a good cook to make good meals in the air fryer so here she is in her glory all right so I just lined it with a little bit of parchment paper and I'm going to spray it with a little bit of oil so it doesn't stick even though I don't really care if the bottom sticks because it's just the skin and I hate the skin on salmon so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my thing and I'll show you guys what this looks like before I cook it and then I need to also figure out what degrees I should be cooking this at for how long so let me figure all that out and then I'll be right back okay so we're about to pop this in the air fryer this is what we're looking like um, I think I put a little bit too much pesto which pesto is really high calorie so you need to be careful with it um, but whatever you only live once and I haven't eaten since I had my protein shake after the gym and it's 6.30 so it'll be okay because I've barely eaten today. This will be like my main meal but I'm going to cook this at 400 degrees for 12 minutes in the air fryer and I might even cook it a little bit more. I like my salmon cooked. I don't want it to be pink in the middle. Just a little bit but not much at all so we're going to pop this in and then we will go ahead and see what it's looking like after 12 minutes. There she goes. So, so easy. Okay, while that's cooking, I decided to pour myself a glass of wine because um, I feel like if you eat seafood or steak, you have to have white wine with it. It's kind of like an unwritten rule. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna pour up a glass of wine. Me and Abby tried this new one yesterday. It's actually one of Drake's and Kylie Jenner's favorite white wines. It's a Pinot Grigio and it's only four grams of sugar per serving. So that's really good. Let me show you guys what that looks like. So this is what the bottle looks like. There we go. Santa Margarita Pinot Grigio. This was $22, I believe, for the bottle, which is pretty expensive. But, I mean, considering it's one of the celebrities' favorites, it's not that expensive. But, um, yeah. So I'm just going to pour not much. Probably just about that much. I don't need to have that much wine. There's really no point. But it does taste really good, and I really, really like this wine. It's just so refreshing. Mm, love it. It's kind of sad that I can't have someone to eat this with. I really wish that I had someone just to like come over sometimes so I can cook them dinner. 
because cooking for myself just isn't as fun you know what i mean but i mean i always have leftovers so that's nice my groceries are very inexpensive so there's always a plus side all right guys moment of truth <gasps> that looks so good <gasps> oh my goodness i'm very impressed it looks nice and crispy on the outside let's cut inside and make sure that it's cooked enough on the inside <gasps> wait it's actually cooked perfectly i actually did put it in for a couple extra minutes by the way i think it came out really really good all right i'm gonna go ahead and plate it up and i'll show you guys what it looks like it's not gonna be pretty but it's gonna be tasty i already know it so this definitely doesn't look very appetizing but i feel like it's gonna be so delicious so on my jasmine rice i did put some of this reduced sodium soy sauce and then I'm gonna have probably not this whole piece of salmon. Um, I'll probably have like, I'll cut like that much off and I'll probably just have this part and keep the rest for some leftovers. But I will go ahead and put on the screen my rating. I'm so hungry so I just wanna dig in and eat this but I will let you guys know on the screen if it was good or not and if you should try this out hey guys i have one apartment update for you guys it's slowly coming together i'm almost done i'm just waiting for one more of my neon signs to be put up these are you know not the easiest thing to put up when you're a girl by yourself so i have to wait for jake to come over to put up the other one but how cute is that i love it so much it says sweet dreams obviously um you guys can read but i think it's so cute and i just love the vibes in here, it's a little bit messy. I have like shit everywhere. Okay, so aesthetic and so cute. Okay, so that is going to wrap up today's vlog. I really hope you babes enjoyed, even though I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I hope that it came together well and that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to like this video. It really helps out our channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notification bell just so that way you never miss out when we post because we plan on keeping the content coming for you guys. We really appreciate all of your guys' support and love and sweet comments. You guys are the ones that keep us going and we seriously appreciate it so, so much. So thank you for watching. We love you guys so much and I will see you guys very soon in our next video. XOXO.